Hello and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Spanning Tree Protocol. Ethernet Network Design balances two separate imperatives. First, Ethernet has no capacity for detecting switching loops. If such path exists, packets loop around and accumulate until new traffic is shut out. This is called broadcast storms. Second, having secondary path is a good preparation for inevitable link failure. Spanning tree is a protocol that prevents loops from forming by detecting redundant links and disabling them until needed. Designers can therefore build redundant link connections and the spanning tree protocol enables one to pass traffic and keep the others in reserve. When the active link fails, a secondary link is quickly enabled. The spanning tree VLAN command is used to activate spanning tree on any range of VLANs. It should be noted that spanning tree is already owned by default and normally you would not need to use this command unless it was already shut down. We are looking at three switches linked together. Switch A has a computer attached to it. Notice that five of the link lights connected to the switches are green, but one of them is amber. The amber link light means that network traffic is being blocked by spanning tree. If we try to ping a non-existent IP address from the computer, the ARP packet will go from the computer to switch A, and then from switch A to switches B and C. The packet that went from switch B will be accepted, but the packet that went from switch A is rejected. The spanning tree on switch C has blocked it. The packet that went to switch B now goes to switch C and is accepted. Now let's turn off spanning tree off of all three switches. Let's first start with switch C. Notice when we turn off spanning tree on switch C, the other switches detect that there's a switching loop and blocks one of the ports on switch A. And now if we disable spanning tree on switch A, switch B will detect that there's a switching loop on the local network and will put one of its ports in the blocking state. When we disable spanning tree on switch B, we see that all six link lights are green because spanning tree is no longer operating on the local network. This means that there is no protection available to stop switching loops from forming. If we try to ping a non-existent IP address from the computer, the ARP packet will go from the computer to switch A, and then from switch A to switch B and C. Notice that the packet flooded through both ports since spanning tree is not blocking it. Packets will continue to accumulate and will eventually bring down the local network.
In summary, the Spanner Tree Protocol helps to prevent switching loops in a network. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.